Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to the channel. And today I'm going to be recreating another marvel of 90s toy RC cars and advertising. And that is going to be the Super Rebound. Now, a little while ago, I recreated this thing, which is the uh, the Tantrum, which is actually made by the same company, Tyco. I don't think I had a Super Rebound or the Rebound for that matter, but the commercials were almost just as good. Almost. I really think the tantrum had something special to it. Maybe just because that's the car I remember wanting. But before I start recreating the Super Rebound, I've got to show you the majesty that is 90s advertising once again. <laughs> I gotta say, the commercials for this kind of toy back then, they, they were just built different. So naturally, before I show you the Super Rebound, you first have to see the Rebound, which the Super Rebound was an improvement on. But actually, the real reason why I want to show you the original Rebound commercial is because it's just better. The opening voiceover to this commercial is perhaps one of the best voiceovers I think I've ever heard. Prepare yourself. Here we go. I'll just give you a moment to process what just went into your ears. In fact, let me help you appreciate it a little bit more. <laughs> I love to imagine what it was like in the recording studio and seeing the person who actually vocalized this into the microphone. All right, anyway, anyway, this is the Tyco Rebound. It's a 15 second commercial, super quick, super fast paced, super amazing. Here we go. Tyco Rebound, it does stunts no other RC can perform. Only Tyco Rebound does in your face flip and the Sidewinder, blinding speed, incredible stunts. Battery pack sold separately. Tyco RC, maximum heat, Tyco Rebound. Yeah, so, oh no, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to play it again. <laughs> so obviously the appeal to this car is the wheels are bigger than the car frame itself, meaning it can drive upside down anywhere. The wheels are always going to be touching the ground and that just makes it super fun because you never have to worry about it getting stuck anywhere. It just, it's always going to be driving. You can do flips, it bounces all over the place because of the super bouncy tires and all that stuff. So you're probably wondering, how could they possibly improve upon such a perfect invention? Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, I, I don't think they improved on the advertising because the commercial is sorely lacking in crazy scream sound effects. But it is full of other sound effects and yelling, so uh, let's get over to this one. You know it's gonna be a quality video when you can already see the VHS lines on the black screen. <laughs> All right, so this is the super rebound, the improvement upon an already perfect creation. It's new Super Rebound with a rotating stunt arm! Unstoppable! Side Unstoppable! Wheeling, crazy flip overs, wild windmills, and more! Super Rebound! Top loop, wild and radio control, and TMH power! Super Rebound! Only Tyco RC could make it bigger, faster, meaner, cooler! Super Rebound! Lots of adjectives! That's how you spell RC! Well, I don't know about that last part. I mean, you clearly showed all your cards here by putting RC and Tyco on the same screen, so we don't even have to, like, spell it out ourselves to realize that that's just a false statement. But now that I've shown how fun I am at parties, let's look into why this is so much better than the original Rebound. What makes it super? Okay, so obviously the big addition is the rotating stunt arm, which just wrote, it's, it's literally only one of the sides actually rotates, as you can see. The other side is actually attached to it. And hold on, I wanted to see something here. They've got side wheelers. They've got frenzied flip overs, wild windmills. I'm, I'm kind of disappointed. They went for the alliteration on the frenzied flip overs and the wild windmills, but they just couldn't hold the alliteration steady on the side wheelers. I feel like someone really slacked off there, missed opportunity. So I've been looking into this to really try to understand how this works. And as far as I can tell, I'm not 100% certain on this, but I think the, uh, what do they call it? The, the rotating stunt arm. I think this is actually freely rotating. I don't think this is controlled at all. And the reason why I think that is because I found this image on a for sale super rebound. And if you look closely at the controller here, there are two controls. There's a left stick and a right stick and they have forward and back and that is it. In fact, they don't have forward and back or forward and reverse. They have go and back, which to me is kind of funny because when you're going backwards, are you not still going? Obviously they just had limited space to put letters here. So they just went with go 
because it fit. I just found the distinction between go and backwards funny. So yeah, it doesn't appear that there's anything on this controller that is linked to the rotating stunt arm. So this leads me to believe that this was just allowed to rotate. However, it would happen to rotate when it slammed into things and went in the air and all that stuff. So I'm gonna go with that. All right, so let's get into recreating this thing. Now, when I recreated the tantrum, um, I think I made a little bit of a mistake by using these wheels. They are so heavy and massive that it was really hard to get this thing to function very well. So on this one, I'm gonna actually build essentially a miniature model because I mean, it's an RC car. It's supposed to be tiny anyway. So I'm gonna try to fit it within the dimensions of these wheels, which might be a bit of a challenge. And if you did miss the tantrum video, by the way, I'll leave a link down in the description so you can check out another marvel of 90s advertising. Okay, so at this scale, we're not gonna have a lot of freedom for design elements because we pretty much have to fit it within three blocks uh, height here. Otherwise, the wheels are not gonna be able to take over from all dimensions. So from what I can tell by looking at it, there's really not a lot of space in between the front and back wheels. So I'm just gonna put three blocks in here which gives it a nice center point to rotate around. This is the side that's not gonna have the rotating arm though. So looking at this right here, this is kind of our dimensions. So I'm realizing I gotta try to fit a seat in here somehow. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> this looks so stupid. <laughs> Hold on, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to put this sideways because <laughs> yeah, that looks a little bit better. Oh man, that looks so stupid with the feet sticking up like that. Okay, so I'm gonna create the rotating arm portion separately. So it's gonna rotate around the center point right there. All right, I think this is actually a pretty good replica right here. So this is too wide, so I essentially gotta, oh no. Is this gonna be an issue? My seat is gonna be in the way if I do this. Can I attach, I can't attach a bearing to the back of the seat, unless I just make it slightly wider. Okay, how does this look width-wise? I mean, it's a pretty wide toy to begin with, so this could be okay dimensions-wise. Oh, and engines. Oh no, I have to fit four of these in here to get the uh, the tank steering that it has. Oh boy, I didn't think about this. Okay, I'm starting to regret using this wheel size for the scale because I just, I just plain don't have room. Okay, this took a lot of Tetrising and it's the best I could get with the dimensions I'm working with, but um, here's how I fit everything in here. I got two engines in the back right here. I guess that's technically the back. I got one engine right here, one engine right here. So those are the four engines I need for the tank steering. Um, and then I got my seat up here. I'm gonna be sticking out a little bit. Don't worry about that. Just ignore that right there. Uh, that was the best I could do. I tried to cover it up as best I could with these license plates that don't take up a full block of width, so it shouldn't interfere with the wheels still. But I think everything, I think it's like, I think it's all here. Everything that, wait, can this rotate? Is this able to rotate? Why isn't it rotating? Why is it stuck? It should be freely rotating. Oh, something is not right here. Oh, yep, that's an issue. This should not be part of that. All right, is it fixed? Ah, yes, it is fixed. Whew, okay. Uh-oh. Wait, no, wait, what? It is not fixed. This, this happens to not be ta attached at all, actually. No, this is fine. I just gotta weld it right back in there. Does everything work now? Okay, I think everything's fixed now. I think we've got it. Now I just gotta hook it. Oh, wait, no, I need logic gates in here and buttons. Okay, there's still more stuff I have to figure out how to fit in here. And then forwards on the left side, backwards on that side. Okay, I think I should have full tank steering. Let's do a quick test. Forward, backward. Okay, why isn't it? Why is none of this working? Oh, 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 my mistake. I gotta have all the all these logic gates have to be or gates. Otherwise, this just doesn't work at all. Okay, now it should all be hooked up. Let's find out. Forward, good. Backward, good. Left, good. Right, good. Okay. I think we're ready. I think, I think it's pretty much all set to be tested. I just, let's just paint it up. I don't know how painting's gonna work with all these pieces I've used. It's probably gonna look terrible, but let's try it. Okay, there we go. All painted up. Let's go ahead and bump these engines up and see if we can pull off some of the same six stunts from the, uh, from the commercial. What do we have? Side winders and frenzied front flips? Hold on, gotta check real quick. Side wheelers, 
frenzy flip overs, wild windmills, and more. All right, side wheelers, frenzied flip overs, wild windmills, and more. All right, here we go. First test, and off we go. Oh, look, did you see that frenzied flip over? Look at these frenzied flip overs. <laughs> uh, what was it? Wild wheelies? Wild windmills. Okay, I don't know how to do the wild windmills, actually. Oh, we're kind of... Oh, this is actually... This is kind of working similarly to how it really works. Why don't they call it Super Sidewinders? I mean, they had the alliteration right there. They just called it Sidewinders. They called it Wild Windmills. They couldn't call it Super Sidewinders. Frenzied front... Frenzied flipovers. All right, ready? watch this Frenzied flipover. I know how to do Frenzied flipovers on purpose now. <laughs> Look at that Frenzied flipover. Frenzied flipovers. I feel like there's some actual uh, skill to be learned with a toy like this. You could probably make it in, like, look at that. I, I could probably intentionally make it do certain tricks if I was to, like, do the right combination of wheel throttles. Like, there are certain things that you can control. Like, I almost, I almost just did, like, an ollie there for a second. Oh, look at this, look at this, ready, ready, ready. Oh, I'm doing the sidewinder. <laughs> Why does it seem, the wheel seems stuck. Oh, there we go. Whoa. I'm like, I'm actually genuinely having fun with this. I kind of want a real super rebound now. <laughs> you know, I feel like these wheels do keep getting a little bit stuck with the collisions. So let me actually experiment with a slight modification here. Okay, so I got version two here, which has a lot more space between the rotating stunt arm and the vehicle itself. So it shouldn't get stuck anymore and it might allow for some, oh yeah, already. Oh, look at those sidewinding windmills. Oh, yeah, this is so much better already. It was totally getting stuck a whole bunch. This is amazing. Man, look at this. See, now I can't even drive normal. Oh, look at that one wheel. One wheeler. All right, I just want to drive normal now. Just going straight. I'm trying to just drive straight. Oh, there we go. Sidewinder. Wild windmills. Doing wild windmills. This is exactly like the commercial. This is so good. Okay, you know we got to get the commercial announcer in here to make this even more epic. All right, let's do it. It's new Super Rebound with a rotating stunt arm. Unstoppable. Side wheelers, frenzy flip overs, wild windmills, and more. Super Rebound. Tougher, wild and radio control, and TMH power. Super Rebound. Only Tyco RC could make it bigger, faster, meaner, cooler. Super Rebound. Tyco, that's how you spell RC. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this build. If you enjoyed this, you'll probably enjoy the other ones that I've done on the channel, recreating real life machines. You can find that on the end screen right here. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss future content like this. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.